I have scoured the internet for the answer to these questions, but was only met with technically correct but unintuitive information. After months of research, I think I kind of found an answer. What is a data model? A model is a generalized version of the data. For example, in a linear model, instead of having a hundred data points, we can draw lines through them to generalize the trend, and the trend can then be used to understand if the data is going to behave differently in different environment. Why do we need a model to compare data? Understanding of the difference between the two population require a model to compute. If we are running a t-test between the two data, we have assumed that the two set of data follow a normal distribution. And for some data like income level between two groups, a t-test will not be able to tell you the answer since income is usually negatively skewed and does not follow a normal distribution. What data we are dealing with? Gene expression data from RNA sequencing is a kind of discrete data. This is because when we map the transcript onto the reference, you can only either get one expression or 1000. Not 1 1.5, not 0 0.6. So if you plot out the overview of the gene expression, the model needs to be based on discrete and not continuous data. How does gene expression data looks like? Gene expression among genes are not normally distributed. That is, lower expressed genes are likely to have a larger variation between samples. For example, a gene that has been only mapped 50 times, it is likely that from sample to sample, the number is going to vary from 30 to 50 to 150. But if you have another gene that is highly expressed, like 10,000 times, it is likely that from sample to sample, you have 10,500, 10,700, or 9,700. So the percentage variation is going to be dependent on the gene count. How do we fit data to models? Well, we plot them out and we try to draw a line through them. For gene expression data, most of the counts are actually so low that you can't see anything on the y-axis. To solve this, we can run a log2 normalization on the data set. And to avoid the negative infinity problem, we can add a correction factor of 0 0.5. Let's try the first thing that comes to mind, the normal distribution. Well, it's not going to translate very well to equation since normal distribution assume that x exists as continuous. As you can see, no matter how I adjust my parameters on the model, the model just can't fit the data. The difference from the model and the data is actually a phenomenon known as over dispersion, where the data has a bigger variety from the model assumption. So which model should I use? There are many discrete model functions, but the most popular ones are the Poisson, the binomial, and the negative binomial. Let us first look at Poisson. So the distribution is based around how often an event would happen, giving an average rate of it happening. To make things simple, I'm going to assume a biological sex as gender, so that is binary. Please don't cancel me. For example, 50% of the world population is female. What is the chances of having 0, 2, 4, 6 female in a room of 10 happening? From the graph, you can see that the most likely situation is going to be 5 out of the 10 people in the rooms are female. It can be modeled using the equation as shown right here. From the equation, you can see that if we adjust the probability of it happening and the chances of success, you can actually change the shape of the distribution. However, as you can see, no matter how I try to move the pigs around, we cannot get the model to fit the data. This is because in Poisson, the mean and variation are locked onto each other. 
the higher the mean, the higher the variation. Therefore, we have to look for the other model. In binormal, the model is based around the success rate of an event on a fixed number of trials. For example, if you meet 10 person over and over again, what would be the percentage of the female in each meetup? Assuming male and female are in equal numbers. It can be modeled using this equation. With that, I have again program a shiny app that I can tune the parameter on the binomial distribution based on adjusting the probability and the number of trial. And yet, we can't make the shape we want from the tuning the parameters and equation right here. In binomial distribution just now, you determine the probability of a certain number of success observed in n number of trial. On the other hand, in negative binomial distribution, your random variable now is the number of trial to get a certain success. For example, assuming the world is 50% female, what is the probability that the second, fourth, sixth, or eight people I met is gonna contain five females? So the shape of the distribution can be manipulated using two parameters, the probability and the success rate. From there, you can tune the parameters to fit the data. As you can see, the model fits perfectly to the data with very minimal tuning as compared to the true previously mentioned data model. So is this the answer to the question? I'm not sure. There's actually a lot more discrete probability distribution, such as multinomial, Bernoulli, chi-square, or hypergeometric. Would they work? If so, why are we not using them? Why do we need to run a log2 transformation of the data instead of some other transformation method that could transform them into, let's say, a linear model or something else. With microarray data using a generalized linear model, why can't we also assume RNA sequencing as continuous? Does it make a difference? Do discrete and continuous matters that much when we are practically doing our analysis? I have no idea. I've assumed that it is because it's a diminishing return of result where negative binomial have worked so well, it is not worth exploring. Or perhaps it has so little improvement over the current solution, it is just not worth the effort. I have no idea. But if you do, please leave a comment down below and educate me on this topic further. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.